have it and I'm back for yet another video okay to my new subscribers I my own subscribers and let me guys so much and I'm ready to get into a new video for you guys and I am so happy and grateful for all your support and subscription and I really appreciate it a lot and yes if you're new to this channel and you're not going to see please don't forget to click on the subscription button somewhere on the screen okay we love you guys so much so without further ado if you like me this little I'll take it if you like me this much I'm gonna take it take it take it and you like me this pencil mm -hmm. I love you guys so much okay so let's get into this video guys so I will react to top 10 worst <laughs> America's next top model makeovers. Are we ready to see this? Okay now. Honey, you guys. <laughs> All right, what was Tyra thinking? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 worst America's Next Top Model makeovers. Yes. For this list, we're looking at for a contestant received on the popular reality TV show that was eye-catching for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> Number 10, I am here for Sandra it. Jean's Mia Farrow cut. I don't know One that. of the most iconic haircuts in cinema what has to be Mia Farrow's pixie cut from her <laughs> baby. But you paid for that. In theory, it was a great style to replicate on a model with such a strong bone structure yeah. just like a fly contestant Cassandra Jean. But the Southern beauty pageant queen was devastated over losing her long locks. I can't Wait, play with what? My hair. When I go to my teeth and when I look in the mirror, it's gonna be something gonna be pretty. She went along with the cut and the dye job initially, <laughs> but when they wanted to cut another inch off, she oh, no. refused, saying that she didn't want them to change her too much. They're going to change her already. No. You know, I really don't have time for this today. So <laughs> just gotta date my son. Oh no, she didn't! <laughs> oh! Oh no, this hair for didn't! Woo! Weird tale to die on, considering most of her hair was gone anyway. Right! She stuck to her guns and was sent home. No! I have to be myself, and I want to be in a position What's your body lost most of your hair, guys? Wait! And that includes not letting people try and change. She had already lost a lot of her hair. Number nine, shy, so she went for hair. Oh! Wait, listen, Allie! Probably not the best ever to make someone look like a terrifying cartoon villain, but that's exactly what Tyra did with Shy Fan, a Cycle 21 contestant who was given oh. two-toned hair, half oh. black and half blonde. Crush. Work it. No one can compare to me now. Oh. Cruella Deville herself, Shy's hair seemed like something that would look cool in an Instagram pic, but yeah. crazy in real life. Yeah. Even dyed her eyes to match her hair. No. Looked as if she only had the black one. <laughs> about it though Ruiz. and seem to embrace it. Number <gasps> Laura's patriotic I found that you sure wanted to do that. Red, white, and blue hair. Yeah. Wait, what? Nothing is ever subtle on reality TV. <laughs> and many times people take things too literally. Yeah. And that's what we assume happened with Cycle 18 <laughs> Invasion. And that's I know that should have did crazy things. Against the who would reign supreme. Because of patriotism, Laura was given red and blue streaks and bleached blonde hair to mimic the American flag. Uh, the thought process behind it might have uh, made the tiniest bit of sense, but the chunky streaks looked weird, amateurish, and definitely a screen top. Uh, it's it's giving me, me it's giving me lightness, guys. What do you mean? Deserve this. In the cycle of makeovers, Tyra kept the girls in the dark about what makeovers they were getting. Everybody is going to be sitting in a chair. I'm sorry, can I take a bag? Wait, what the hairstylists? I know they are, you know, at the top of that game and all that, but damn, if I had done that on someone, they would have slapped my face, pie tight tight, or sued me, or sent me to court or something. <sighs> it's good to have connections, honey. When you have connections, you can just put a mask on someone's hair and it's fashion, honey. It is fashion, it's the truth. Let me do that on someone's head, they'll be like, oh, what the fuck is this? But when you have the connection, oh. Yes, yeah, celebrity style is so bitch you can put a mud on someone's head, it's fine. Oh my god. Now you're what kidding me. <laughs> when Marvita sat down in the hairdresser's chair, I always said to myself, surprised. if the stylist cannot put it on their own hair, okay, don't put it on my own hair. Okay, this oh, is not brush. Yes, girl, you can back it. I reveal in yeah. a pre-taped segment. <laughs> Right here, Tyra even made when she gleefully revealed Marvita's makeover inspiration. Like a horse. So she <laughs> just... <laughs> the was less of a horse and more of an 80s hairband mullet. Oh no, she didn't! <laughs> oh! Oh no, this hair for didn't! Look <laughs> ridiculous. Can you imagine off. if you don't win? Number six, Bill's Jesus extensions. When A and TM let men in the podcast, 
was excited to see what makeover they'd give the guys. But then Phil happened and proved that the men were just as awful as they do for some of the women. <laughs> Jesus. I know! I saw the Jesus. Look. Not good. Oh, oh, and not I not saw good. his hair so short. For this. This draggly hair was distracting. <laughs> so it looks more like a Coachella punchline than a mole. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Miss Roger, you're evil, man! You said it like a Coachella, honey. Oh no! I'm sorry, guys! I don't know if I can finish this. <laughs> and grew his natural hair out. Number five. Yes, is that your hair is better? Wait, you, that was her hair? Oh, bitch! Felicia Stowers is already one of the most controversial and team winners out there. He had a previous connection to Tyra before the season started. Oh my God. The question is, how did someone with Dora the Explorer hair make it that far? Yes! Because Mushroom Bob and Glorified both so much from Bob, a honey. commercial model and edgier look. But instead it made her appear younger, as if her mom gave her the hair. I can't do this, I know, so no, cut it fashion, so honey. And if you cut it, it was bad. Just Maybe it was her body? It takes some getting used to. It really changed my look. Like, I don't it's know, her body, next door. but it works with her forehead. Why did you see the gap? For the most part, the makeovers they give contestants aren't oh. permanent. Hair grows back, a weave can be taken out, and eyebrows can be dyed back. Yes. But the makeup team crossed that line when Tyra decided that the gap between Chelsea's two front teeth needed to be made bigger so that she had more of a Lauren Hutton look. To emulate the legendary model, what? Chelsea was taken to a dentist where they actually shaved around a millimeter off each front tooth. What? Oh no, she didn't! <laughs> This was a bridge too far. Competition is so big and oh, the stakes are so high that yeah. they took it really seriously. Mm -hmm. Number wow. three, Brittany's red clown weave. Really, Tara wasn't trying to channel Bozo the Clown uh, uh, for the Hatch's makeover, but that's exactly <laughs> what she got. Oh, she got so in. Let's go. Short curls look way more model esque than the pile of red straw they attached to her head. The hair was brittle looking, frizzy, and puffy. And it clearly looked like a weed. Oh my god! I'm sorry! I'm a hell sorry! I'm going to say good! Cosmetology license. There have been some pretty harrowing weave experiences. Yes. Yeah. Like Games of Thrones. Unbelievably bad hairdo. Okay, do, but uh, I think I can work it. After some Wait, what's that? No. Molly was brought in to sew it onto her fine hair. I'm trying to think of how we could style this some sort of huh? for the picture and then correct it after. The process of getting her hair done was a tangle of braids, thread, <laughs> Yes. Then a high fashion look. Honey, then a bloody hair for the girls. Honey. And the hair had to weigh as much as Molly herself. Yes. The salon owner Steve, tried honey. to trim it down, but it was no use. Molly was understandably upset, and the hair led to a lot of drama until it was redone. I love the idea of the huge long hair, but um, it was horrible. So. <laughs> If you have the connection, you can go very far and be anything, but your work should speak for itself. Um, honey, even on America's Next Top Model, if we can have that, I think I'm good. <laughs> oh my god, I can! Wait, I mean, I'm trying, guys, I'm trying. I lost my like girlish thing. Yeah! Hey, how 
face is already so strong. She's not Halle Berry, guys. Personally, like, I need to get used to it. Wait! I thought I was going to cry. Is that highlights? a long way i have to admit guys the early 2000s the 90s we are the highlights we are oh my god zebras it was a lot of messes but i'm so happy that lately it's been better like so much better and i'm so proud of the okay. girls number too. one denzel's fake beard of all the crazy makeovers the a and team has given over no, the this one I never agreed with it at all. I was like, what the fuck? And he has a bad attitude too to go with this. But Denzel's fake beard made every other makeover pale in comparison. I said this little They put a lace front weave on this man's face. <laughs> no! Let's sink it. It's a lace front. They put a lace front on my face. No, you didn't say lace front. Hair. The contrast showed. I'm loving myself with a beard. Like, oh, bitch! And his attitude was horrible too. Unnatural, ridiculous, and like. Oh, no! He was. The was roasted on social media. And of course. This on an internet infamy. You put on take on Oh out yes, I do agree. Okay. Wait. Miss Bojo, write pics for this. <laughs> Shout out to you guys for this request. And then I can't wait to see you guys soon in the United States. I'm sorry.